This is question 15. College Board is asking about a system of equations and they're asking for which value of a does this system have no solutions. Since the solutions of a system of equations are the points where the graphs of the two lines described by the system of linear equations, the solution is the points where they intersect. If there's no solution, then the two lines have to be parallel. If there's infinitely many solutions, then the two lines have to be the same line. Since this is the same as y equals 3x plus 6, which looks something like that, this one will have to be parallel, same slope. So whether we're looking for no solutions, parallel, same slope, or infinitely many solutions, again, same slope, because they're the same line. In either case, what we're looking for here is the same slope there's a faster way once you recognize that. But I'm just going to write the slope. y equals 3x plus 6. And the other one is 2y equals negative ax plus 4. Divide by 2 to get the slope. 1y equals negative a over 2x plus 4 over 2 is 2. If these are the same slope parallel, these two numbers are equal. 3 equals negative a over 2. Multiply both sides by negative 2 to get a by itself, because they're asking for what value of a. You get negative 6 equals a. Choice a. College Board will usually ask you a question where there's e either no solution or infinitely many solutions to a system, or equivalently, they'll give you the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation say this has no solution or infinitely many solutions. And again, you set the slope on the left equal to the slope on the right for no solutions or for infinitely many solutions if they're both linear. So make sure this makes sense and that you're proficient with rewriting to find the slope because that's the most direct way of doing this even if though there are occasionally faster ways of recognizing it. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.